Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. I'm very happy to be talking. Actually, I'll take that back. I'm not very happy to be talking about this today in the House of Commons, the circumvention of the democratic process. So today, I want to be very clear, and I want to, pr uh, and I want to be very clear. We can prove that every federal government, from Mr. Mulroney to Mr. Trudeau, have been compromised by agents of the communist China. Every government were informed at one point or another. Every government choose to ignore CISA's warning either by negligence, self-interest, or partnership, a partisanship, sorry. Every government were infiltrated by agents of influence acting on behalf of the Chinese government, and we knew who they were. And uh, I do want to just put on the record as well uh, to open this, what we're really talking about. The Prime Minister has made his true agenda very, very clear to Canadians uh, very recently in the last four months when we've been having this discussion. I committed, I committed uh, basic dictatorship. Not only the sitting government had been compromised, but all federal par political parties have been compromised at one point or another. The inaction of the federal government, all federal governments, were led to attacks on many municipal and provincial government. Ultimately, every government had been part of the problem, not the solution. Mr. Cooper, open source documentation raising concerns about this donation dates back to 2016. And so we have had ample time to have an honest discussion, which I think is not people are not prepared to have. It is also why people are resisting a foreign agent registry because of the number of Canadian elites that would get ensnarled in such a registry.